What's up guys, Tech James here. So I always get emails regarding my old PSP videos. People ask, how am I supposed to get the emulator if the link in the description is not working anymore? As you guys know, um, links on the internet don't seem to last forever. Um, websites always get deleted, links always get moved, um, maybe even some links get banned, and these emulators are pretty much lost forever. Well, I just thought I might as well upload every single emulator into one zip file so you guys can install it on your PSP. And these emulators are pretty much much the best emulators that you can get for your PSP anyway so if you were trying to install something from one of my old videos from around two three years ago I wouldn't worry about it because the emulator is probably covered in this video as well so all you need is a PSP with custom firmware installed and what we're going to do is we're going to scroll over and we're going to go on USB connection now my PSP is looking a bit blank anyway as you can see it's literally got nothing on here so I do need some emulators so let's go over let's click on USB connection now what we can do is connect our PSP to our computer via the USB cable. So make sure your PSP is connected to your computer via the USB connection and then you want to go to the latest link in the description of this video and this um, kind of like zip file is called the PSP Emu Pack 2020 and it is a zip file so you don't need WinRAR or anything but if you've got it that's fine. All you guys want to do is just click on the green download button right here, you can't miss it and it's going to download the zip file to your computer. If it asks something like this um, just click on allow and um, basically it will just download. So once it says completed, it should start downloading. And as you can see, mine finished in roughly a couple of seconds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our downloads folder and we are going to find our zip file. So in our downloads folder, here is our emulator pack. And all we need to do here is right click and just click on extract here. What it's gonna do is extract all of the emulators out of the zip file into our downloads folder. Now once it's finished extracting, we basically just need to go into this file and we're gonna find every emulator that it's got. Now this has pretty much got everything you'll need. Capcom Play System, Nintendo 64, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. Um, it's got Sega stuff on here. It's got Atari stuff. It's got SNES. Now if there is anything missing you guys can let me know in the comments of this video did I miss anything um, I tried to include everything even the rarest stuff like Pokemon Mini um, DS which is a bit glitchy it's even got a copy of DOS box and Final Burn Alpha so I'm pretty sure this is everything that you'd want to play maybe there is a few obscure stuff that this is missing but this is pretty much all of the main consoles so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all of these files we need to right click and we need to go into copy now we're gonna go onto our PSP we're gonna go into the PSP folder and we're gonna go to the game folder we're going to right click and we are going to do paste and this is going to transfer the emulators from our downloads folder into our PSP game folder now keep in mind that these emulators do not have ROMs inside if they did have ROMs I wouldn't be able to link it in the description for you guys to download so you must provide your own ROMs for these to work but it's very simple and um, once you've provided the ROMs you pretty much just go into any of the emulators folders and there should be a ROMs folder inside of there if you guys are still new to this, just let me explain. Let's say we want a Game Boy Advance game. You'd go into the Game Boy folder, you'd go into GBA, and there'd be a ROM folder in here. As you can see, there isn't anything in the ROMs folder, but you can add them. Um, and this is pretty much the same, Pokemon Mini, ROMs. It's either called ROM or ROMs. And if the folder is missing, you literally just put it inside the root of the emulator. Very, very simple, just like that. But um, I think we've still got to wait, a couple of minutes left. And when they've done transferring, I'll show you guys everything actually on my PSP Go. So now we are back, we are able to see every single emulator that we downloaded. So let's go onto the system storage and we can see everything. So we've got Pokemon Mini, we've got E emulator, which is a Wonderswan emulator. We've got the files that I had before. We have got um, a Neo Geo emulator, Capcom Play System 1, a Vice emulator, um, two copies of the E emulator. I think one is slightly older or something. <laughs> I don't know what is two. Maybe I'll delete one before I upload it. We've got an Atari emulator. We have got a um, PSP Cap32 emulator, PC Engine for your retro PC games. So there are some emulators on here which I'm not actually sure what they are. I think they're really old retro consoles like this. I've never seen this before in my life. Uh, we've got a Sega Master System race emulator. I think this is some kind of like classic um, space game. We have got uh, Simple Flames. We have got Atari, Pico Drive, and um, this is also like Sega stuff. Fuse, we have got a Nintendo 64 emulator, which isn't really that good, so I wouldn't recommend playing it. Uh, we've got some other emulators. This one is um, Game Boy and Game Boy Color, SNES, Game Boy Advance, 
uh, another Sega um, emulator. We've got NES. Uh, we've got Neo Geo CDZ. Uh, we've got DS, Final Band Alpha for your classic arcade stuff. Uh, we've got DOSBox, and then we've got Capcom Play System 2. Um, it says for PSP Slim, but it should work on all PSPs. So there you go, massive list of emulators. And if you were watching one of my old videos and you realized you weren't able to download something, then hopefully your emulator will be in this list. As I said, this emulator literally has all of the best stuff, so hopefully it is actually in here. Now, of course, if there's something you don't want, you can literally press triangle, go down to delete and remove it. And um, that's basically the easiest way. Or you can go onto your computer and you can also delete the emulators that you don't need. But that is pretty much it for this video. All of the emulators that you will need for your PSP. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.